Yeah, and I want to go to the right. And I'll just kind of just run right out from the band and then like, really be in the middle. Think we're bluffing? We don't bluff. We got to go, which was really special to me. We did like a testing at this uh, house in Beverly Hills, and you know some of the cast and um, you know people that are auditioning for the movie, you know, coming down to the last straw. But we got to do a lot of improv. So we had like, you know, Ben who played uh, in the movie. He busted in the room. Like we're all lined up, reenacting the hotel. Um, the hotel hallway scene, but he comes in busting in the room. We're not knowing what's going on, so oh we're kind of like, this is the beauty of Catherine, you know, Bigelow, how she likes to see things, everything organic and fresh. But Ben busts through the room and he's yelling at us, throwing our hats down, throwing everybody's cell phones on the floor, and like just having this one on one interaction with us just to see how we react. And I mean, it was great. And then we're singing in a circle, everybody's singing, you know, for the dramatics yeah. part of, of the movie. And it was just, you know, a, a, a different experience for me. And, and it was great. It was yeah. great. So. And was the audition process similar for all of you? No, it was different. It was it, different yeah. for the two of us, I felt like. Yeah, it, I mean, we didn't have uh, material from, from, from the film, from mm -hmm. the script. Right. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty much just a simple process. I mean, I had an audition and then I had a call back with Catherine immediately. But I remember being so like, just out of it that I once I got into the room with Catherine and I shook her hand I'm like oh I'm shaking Catherine Bigelow's hand now <laughs> right. and this is very overwhelming yeah um, yeah. Uh, yeah we had yeah so we didn't have scenes from the film we had scenes from I think it was Almost Famous and Boogie yeah, Nights so, yeah. oh yeah um, which was and yeah. so it was this weird thing of trying to guess what the character might be like yeah we knew it would be a time piece yeah. yeah we knew it was kind of in that sort of period but um but yeah, and I had, yeah, same as Caitlin, I, I went in and then came back and met Catherine the next day and then it was a pretty straightforward process. Uh, yes. Yeah, mine was different. I wasn't in LA with, I guess, the rest of the guys. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was like filming at the time, so I sent in a tape and it was like for, uh, it was Sydney Potier um, in the heat of the night and uh, Hurt Locker, I did like one of Anthony uh, Mackie's like monologues mm -hmm. and so she saw it and I asked Catherine every day on sales like, how did you see my tape like I don't understand why you, why you <laughs> saw like a random tape for me but yeah that's that was my process and then I went back and a lot of stuff happened in New York and I walked into a room and I'm walking in with like John Boyega and I'm like oh what's, what's up bro yeah. like, <laughs> like what's yeah. going on yeah. so yeah it was, it was different for everyone that's pretty cool and what was it like working <coughs> with Oscar winning director Catherine Bigelow just she's learned, so inspiring, yeah. so inspiring. You learn so much watching her. I mean, she's just an amazing director, an amazing person, and, and just, just watching how she likes everything detailed and she knows what she wants, she was, she was just amazing. Yeah, and the fact that she, that she like learned from us as we were learning from, from her, and like mm. she was eager to learn, what do you, well, what do you think about mm. this? How yeah. could you, how, well, what do you, what do you want to yeah. do with this? And how like powerful she was, even though she was like very like quiet and mm -hmm. soft spoken. Yeah, yeah she's so generous. <laughs> um, she really like she makes everyone feel like their contribution is really mm. valid, and she's mm -hmm. happy for you to try things out or, um, or or do what you feel is is appropriate for the character and for the moment. And she's also constantly deflecting praise. Like she never lets. She's always like, no, it's just because I have this wonderful cast and crew. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. you're amazing. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. very yeah. humble. Yeah. 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 <laughs> is about a tragedy that occurred 50 years ago. Why do you think it's taken so long for this story to be told? Mm. I mean, I, I think it's just, you know, it was one of those things that just kind of was buried and, and not talked about just because I think there's a sense of like people aren't comfortable with talking about it. And I think that now that the fact it's finally being told and um, we're finally as actors being able to portray this this moment in history I think it's really really uh, such a privilege for all of us that we get to you know finally strike conversation and get people talking about and have empathy for this tragedy and tragedies happening today well, thank you so much for talking to me thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you thanks I love you I want you to the right I love you 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 I love